Hey guys, Wamanga here with a new video, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw character expressions, Irritated, Triumph, and WTF. Here I'm going to be using Boruto as a model for this video. Uh, usually I use my characters from Apple Black, but here I'm going to be using a popular mainstream shonen character, Boruto, from the Naruto spinoff. Uh, first tip would be to think simple, simplify everything, try to draw the expression in emoji forms, and then translate that to the actual character. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm using this simple emoji state illustration guideline thing to make it easier for me, uh, figure things out, make sure it works. And then once I'm done and I think that I have exactly what I want, I just translate that expression to the character that I have in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that two separate characters might have um, a different way of expressing the same thing. So, an example would be Deku from My Hero would show emotion or would show happiness very differently from how, say, a Bakugo would show happiness. So those are things you need to keep in mind. So there isn't one way of showing an expression. It all depends on the artist's style of showing expression, the the character itself, and you know a bunch of other a bunch of other factors. So here for this style. I've decided to go for something that is a blend between my style and the style used to depict the Boruto characters. And uh, same goes for the expressions. So it's not, I'm, I'm not trying to mimic the way they do the expressions on the show or the movie or anything like that. I'm, I'm kind of like doing it my way, doing it my style, but still having a little bit of dashes from uh, what they've done already. So here you see for the irritated uh, face, I've kind of done it already and now I'm translating that into uh, the Boruto character's head and you know everything, once you break things down in this simple format, everything kind of becomes easier. Obviously as you work harder and practice more, you wouldn't need to take all these steps all the time and sometimes you wouldn't need them at all. But it's a good step for those who feel that they need it, those who consider themselves beginners. Uh, here we went irritated, so I did something where maybe I rose one eyebrow a little higher than the other. I'm playing around with the mouth, so it kind of looks comedic. This was a little bit of a challenge because I did not want it to look too much like a chibi. I didn't want it to look too silly. Uh, I still wanted it to look relatively, not necessarily realistic, because the style is not, uh, like, it doesn't look like a real person, but um, realistic enough, where it doesn't look too cartoony. Um, but I think at the same time, irritated is you, you kind of have some anger in there, so you kind of have some. I, I do think there, there is some comic relief in there, so you see me play around with the eyes and the, the size of the eyes a little bit, and even the shape of the eye to convey that you know maybe the character is not to be taken too seriously in this, in this form or in this uh, expression or of uh, him being irritated. But again, there's several ways of doing it, and it's kind of up to you to figure out what you feel that expression is. So here I'm making, putting the eyeballs in the middle, the pupil and the iris and all that stuff in the middle, and maybe the other one, the other eye is kind of twitching a little bit, uh, so like the eye to the right is a little closed, and while the one to the left is a little more open, and it's almost like the other one is twitching a little bit. Um, again, not taking it too seriously, and I think I'm liking what it, uh, what I have. I'm just trying to stay away from like straight up anger, right? Because again, another another tip when doing all these expressions is there's a lot of power in the eyebrows. So some of these expressions are a combination of certain things. You can have a character and just bend the, the two eyebrows like the uh, the closer parts that are close to each other. Uh, you can if you, if they're pointing downwards, that's like an anger kind of thing, but Server, certain combinations of that form other expressions and with these it's almost like a challenge I'm trying to figure out what uh, combination works best so here I'm doing the WTF expression uh, this was also a challenge because I didn't want it to be too again not too too comical and at the same time I didn't want him to come off as a chibi because if that was the case I could just put hair on that emoji head and uh, you know hair and the Kanoa Kanoa uh, headband and call it a day but I'm trying to kinda cross a line a little bit with the style I'm going for 
and not make it too too comical It'll still be comical but not where it starts to look too cartoony if you know what I mean but here I'm gonna be a little more cartoony than uh, the character the expression I uh, we just did which was irritated so here uh, playing around with the eyes and I'm gonna make the iris and the pupil even tinier and this will be definitely more comical that's the route I've, I've chosen to go I mean you can have a WTF expression where the character is completely serious like I said there's several ways to do uh, to go with this so another thing to keep in mind is the tone of the scene right so if you don't want if it's if something really really serious is going on you don't want the character to be to seem too comical because then it could uh, kill the tone uh, or the, the emotional tone of the scene unless that's what you want and usually that's not what you want I feel like that's a completely different conversation and I'll leave that to a separate video but you generally want to keep in mind the tone of the scene that the character is in as well so we've talked about the tone of the scene keep keeping in mind that there are different styles and different ways of doing this and also keeping in mind that certain characters react differently or show expression differently one's happiness is different from another one's happiness uh, and you can go step by step in layers uh, maybe going with emojis and figuring out what the expression is first and then going going to the next step of translating that expression onto the character you're working on here another challenge you can see it's a little comical so I've done the eyes and I uh, you know put some like lines in the eyes uh, you see this a lot in uh, shows like Gintama where or sometimes there are even some versions of this WTF where maybe you wouldn't even draw eyeballs or the whole place the whole eye is just gonna be black and maybe there'll only be like a white dot in the middle so there are many ways to kind of go about this even though like it's funny because a little ironic is we're working on expressions but you can be very expressive in several ways uh, of pulling this off so here I've, I've gone the route of just having a normal face Nothing too comical, and I think that works. I think this works where the eyes, the eyes are kind of doing similar, a little similar to what the irritated eyes are doing, but here is a little bigger. The iris and pupil are a little smaller. You have a little, there's like some comical tone to it. You have some lines and some lines depicting like sweat. Uh, we have all that going on, and we have like a normal mouth, but kind of open. Uh, and I think this works. Again, there's several ways I could have gone about it. You could you could have the mount really open, but I was not trying to cross the line of him, say, being scared. Um, this could still be scared, but I feel like this works for what I was going for with the whole WTF mood. Now for the last one, which is Triumph, which is, I feel, probably the easiest one, because this is, you know, like the go-to expression characters like Boruto or even Naruto kind of have is almost like their default face where they're kind of smiling uh, triumph where they're like triumphant maybe in a battle or they're pumped to go on this journey or this quest or whatever and here it's kind of like we have the eyebrows doing a little bit of an angry thing but not too angry and we have the eyes really wide open and when we put the iris in the pupil it's gonna be normal size but I'm gonna make sure it's not really touching too much of the edges of like the eyelids at all. And then I'm gonna have like a wide smile, as you can see in the, uh, I guess, smiley face ahead. I don't know why I keep saying emoji. They're just like smiley face heads, but you, you get my drift. So I'm gonna put in the headband, at least the line for it. And then we're gonna put in this wide smile because these are the character you keep in mind that you know there are other characters for this triumphant tone the smile might not be this wide the teeth you might not see that much teeth it all depends on the character it depends on the style there are several factors to keep in mind and again the tone of the scene the mood whatever's whatever the hell is going on in that moment and after that you just go in put in all the details and uh, voila so yeah, the style here is not necessarily the Boruto style, and, and it's also not necessarily my style. It's more my style than anything else, but I feel like this is like a combination of both. And I decided to do something a little different, rather than usually I use my characters from Apple Black, 
uh, to do this. For those who don't know me, I'm the creator of Apple Black. Apple Black is published and serialized on Saturday AM. You can read the first four chapters of Apple Black free, or you can purchase Apple Black Volume 1 with the first nine chapters. Uh, Apple Black is published and serialized on Saturday AM. Please check out Saturday AM and all the other cool titles that we publish. A very digitally diverse anthology magazine that features several interesting comics, including Apple Black, with the likes of Clock Strikers, uh, Saigami, Bully Eater, So Beats, Crunch Time, Paradise Down. Titan King, Comet Man, Spoon, um, Matchmaker U, the list goes on. So I hope you guys really check uh, check us out. And we have like a free sample issue on the site always. So you can go, if you want to see how the magazine works and how it looks, you, you can go check that out. But before we go, I hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe because I have cool videos like this all the time. Don't forget to hit that bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything. You can check out my social media. Links to all the questions you could possibly have will be in the description below. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And a quick update here is Saturday AM. We're, uh, Saturday AM is celebrating our fourth year of publishing with an appearance at Crunchyroll Expo. Personally, this will be my first convention ever. And said I will be there with Saturday AM as a group, as a collective, and we will be celebrating our fourth year of publishing. And I'll have a video after this that will go into more detail about Saturday AM and Crunch and Crunchyroll Expo and how we're gonna be there and all that good stuff. For now, check out more video, check out everything. Swipe manga. And I'm outie.